Okay, we are live. Good morning, everybody. It is 9.36 a.m. on this gloomy, cloudy Tuesday morning. It is the 22nd of May, 2018. And I have some happy children at home because today's their last day of school. Well, Dustin's last day of school was last week. DJ's last day of school was today. And then when he starts back, he'll be a senior. What's up with that? So, anyway, good morning, everybody. Hi, Charlotte Davis. Good morning. <clears throat> Pray for me, my sinuses is going crazy. I don't know if it's allergies or <coughs> what it is, but morning Naomi. Alrighty, we're gonna be looking at another church hymn this morning and some scriptures, and I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible, but there's a lot to cover. Mm, thank you, Lord. And um, to be honest with you, I don't know a whole lot about this song. I've heard this song many of times, <clears throat> but I've not, um, I've never sang this song. And so I kind of spent the morning kind of getting familiar with this song, and, and I love this song. Um, it's a what a blessing it is, um, the haven of rest. Um, again, you know, I've heard it in passing. Um, for Ruthie. Let's all be praying for um, Ruthie Platt. Um, she's losing her eyesight. Um, she's calling me skinny. <laughs> Love you, Ruthie. Hi, Dennis. Hi, Deborah. This weekend, we'll be over at um, Daystar Church of God. Lord willing, be singing over there. Mike and Debbie Howard attends the church and I got a friend request from your pastor by the way Debbie Betty Jones good morning hi Margie Margie I sent you a friend request all you gotta do is accept it you gotta accept it hi Kay hi Daniel Lee all right let's get started in this um, hi Phyllis the haven of rest we got uh, several scripture I want to look at um, and then we'll go into the the song lyrics Good morning, Mary. We're going to look at um, Psalms 107, verses 29 and 30. <clears throat> it says, He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. And if you look into this Psalms 107, if you read the entire Psalms, um, what was going on was, was, you know, it says that, I believe it was David. I know there was a, two different writers in Psalms, and, and sorry, I'm pretty sure this was David writing this particular Psalm. But anyway, it, um, he was saying the whole entire chapter what he was trying to reveal to people is that God is a mighty God that he's able to allow storms allow trials allow troubles in your life but he's also big enough to stop them and so we're actually looking at this particular scripture and where he says he maketh a storm a calm. If you go a couple verses ahead of that, it's talking about, you know, God will allow storms in your life. And I want you to know something this morning. When you go through troubles and storms in your life, you know, there are different things that we go through in life. Sometimes the storms and the troubles that we go through, it's self-inflicted. The things that we cause on our own. Our actions and, and reactions to certain situations may you know, cause trouble to fall upon you. Sometimes the the enemy of our soul will bring trouble and storms on our in our life and heartaches to us. But occasionally, God will step back and He will allow lessons 
to come in and storms and trials to come in our life to not only teach us a lesson, but sometimes He allows suffering in our life so we can maybe brush up on our prayer life. You know, sometimes, you know, we, I've, we've mentioned this several times in our devotions, but we don't pray nearly as fervently when things are going good in our life as opposed to when things are going bad. And sometimes God allows things in our life just so we can start to pray and trust in Him more. Because I don't care who you are and, and what you think, but trials and sufferings in life will bring us closer to God. We'll work our faith and we'll work our patience and people says oh don't pray for patience oh don't pray that that'll bring tribulations without having patience in our life we're not going to ever make heaven our home we need patience we we need that and i can give you a scripture later on to back that up but anyway so psalms 107 29 and 30 says he maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still then are they glad because they be quiet so he bringeth them unto their desired haven. In other words, that haven is a des- they're talking about a, like a, a destination. That haven is a destination, or, or speaking of when you're talking about on the sea, maybe your, your shore or your port. And it says that God will bring us to our desired haven. Well, listen. My desired haven is Jesus Christ. You thought I was going to say heaven, didn't you? Listen, I want to make heaven my home. I want to go to heaven, and that is my desire, but more than heaven, I want Jesus Christ in my life. I want to be brought to Him because He is our safe haven. He is our haven of rest. He is the one that will guide you and protect you and shield you and shelter you and provide for you and protect you and fight for you and and bring manna from heaven down for you. He is the one. He and He alone will provide all these things for you if we just run to Jesus. Matthew chapter 8, verse 26 and 27, it says, And He said unto them, Why are you fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds of the, and the sea, and there was a great calm. And verse 27 says, But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? And you know the account of this story when they was on the ship and Jesus was down below and he was sleeping and the winds and the storms was battering and, and, and crashing against the, the boat and they were afraid. And these are professional fishermen that's been on the sea many a times, but they were afraid because of the storm was so great and so violent. And they went down and they woke Jesus up and they said, Master, do you not care that we're about ready to die? And I, that always kind of stuck out to me when they asked Jesus if he does do you not care Jesus is the epitome of care he says cast all your cares upon me for I careth for you but they asked do you not care that we're about ready to perish but what they didn't realize is as long as Jesus was on that boat that boat wasn't going down As long as Jesus is in our life, regardless of the storms that may come against you, if you just weather the storm, you're not going down. It may seem like it, but Jesus Christ will be right there to give you the help. And He said, Oh, ye of little faith, peace be still. And I believe not only did the water and the storm and the the waves and the wind become peaceful, But I believe when Jesus uttered those words, peace be still, I believe the hearts of these men were calmed. I believe the peace of Jesus Christ was felt in their heart. Aren't you glad that sometimes, praise God, sometimes God will calm the storms. Sometimes He'll just calm us while we go through the storm. But either way, we'll feel the presence of God. And then lastly, in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 9 through 11, it says, There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath seized from his own works, as God did from his. Verse 11, Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest. 
lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Folks, listen. There is a haven of rest. That rest is Jesus Christ. He and He alone. That place we call heaven, that's just a benefit. Because without Jesus Christ, Jesus could, could create and, and construct heaven and all its beauties. That's there. But if God and, our, and Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost, if they exit that place, then heaven would, would not be heaven. It's Jesus Christ who makes heaven heaven. And I want to be safe in His arms. Now you may think when we read this scripture and looking at this song, you may say, well, you know, Brother Dave, that sounds kind of familiar from yesterday. Well, yesterday we talked about anchored in Jesus. And that was in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19. And we're talking about, you know, our hope in Jesus Christ is as an anchor to the soul. And this here is talking about the haven of rest. Let us bring up that anchor and sail safely into the port. Folks, listen, we have a destination. And my destination is Jesus Christ. My destination is heaven. And we're going to look at the words of the song. This is a lengthy song. Lengthy song. It has five verses to this song. It was written by um, Henry L. Gilmore in 1890 or thereabouts. And I want you to listen real co um, close to the words of this song. Starting with verse 1, it says, My soul in sad exile was out on life's sea, so burdened with sin and distressed, till I heard a sweet voice saying, Make me your choice. And I entered that haven of rest. <laughs> I yielded my soul to his tender embrace, in faith taking hold of the word. My fetters fell off, and I anchored my soul. The haven of rest is my Lord. Verse 3 says, The song of my soul, since the Lord made me whole, has been the old story so blessed. Of Jesus, who will save whosoever will have a home in the haven of rest. Verse 4 says, How precious the thought that we all may recline, like John the Beloved so blessed, on Jesus' strong arm, where no tempest can harm, secure in the haven of rest. Verse 5 says, O come to the Savior, He patiently waits, to save by His power divine. Come anchor your soul in the haven of rest and say, My beloved is mine. The Course says, I've anchored my soul in the haven of rest. I'll sell the, I'll sell the wide seas no more. The tempest may sweep over wild stormy deep. In Jesus, I'm safe evermore. Aren't you thankful that we have a safe haven in Jesus Christ. We have rest in Jesus Christ. If you look carefully in Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 and 29 it says, Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. Folks, listen, I understand that this life that we live is like a, like a, a, a tempest of, of, of the sea. I understand that you know life will toss you to and fro and, and the winds and the rain will batter down and beat down on you. But listen, I want you to know this morning that there is rest in Jesus Christ. That there is a safe place in Jesus Christ. That we can anchor ourselves in Jesus. For He is our haven of rest. And I said, I don't know the song very well, but I learned a little bit of it as I was um, studying this and stuff. And, and I'll try a little bit of it because it's a fun song to sing. It says, 
And I've anchored my soul in the heaven of rest. I'll sail the wide seas no more. The tempest may sweep over wild stormy deep. In Jesus, I'm safe evermore. And my favorite verse is, I yielded myself to His tender embrace. In faith, taking hold of His word. <laughs> My fetters fell off, and I've anchored my soul to the haven of rest. Is my Lord? Well, I've anchored my soul in the haven of rest. Will I sail the wide seas no more? <laughs> well, praise the Lord. The tempest may sweep over wild stormy deep, but in Jesus I'm safe evermore. Well, I've anchored my soul to the haven of rest. Well, I'll sail the wild seas no more. The tempest may sweep over wild stormy deep. But in Jesus, I'm safe evermore. <laughs> I've anchored my soul in the haven of rest. How many has done that this morning? How many has said, Lord, I'll be willing to travel wherever you have me to go. I'll be willing to go through every storm, every battle that I have to go through as long as I know that I'm anchored in you. Do you realize that if you're anchored in Jesus, you're not going to sail too far away from him. He's going to keep you right where you need. You're not going to drift off and drift away in the storm. But Jesus Christ will be right there with you. And folks, after the storm passes and that anchor is lifted, uh, He will help guide you safe to His portal. Safe to the port, safe to the shore, however you want to word it. But Jesus Christ is our safe haven this morning. I say hallelujah. I'm glad this morning for a heavenly Father that loved me so much, that says, you know what, I love you so much, I'll send you my only Son that you may have rest and peace and safety in Him. You may have salvation because of Him. Folks, listen. He loves us this morning. So if you feel like you're drifting and, and you feel like you have no navigational um, direction in your life, look to Jesus Christ. Anchor in Jesus Christ this morning because He'll keep you safe and He'll help you sail right straight to the portal of glory. That's what I'm looking forward to. To listen, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Anchor yourself in Jesus Christ. Let Him be your guide. Thank you for watching. Lord willing, we'll be back on tomorrow. Have no idea what we're going to do tomorrow, but we'll be back on with another devotion. God bless you. Stay anchored in Jesus. Love you all.